Every year, we throw 300 million tons of plastic waste, which ends up in rivers and oceans, and then enters into our bodies. Plastic kills fish, birds, and animals both in water and on land. Human waste products have become a serious problem for the ecosystems of the rivers, seas, and oceans. They are stored over the years and sometimes form big waste islands and garbage spots. The coast of many developing countries are lined with plastic bottles, fishing tackle, and different packaging. During the pandemic, these garbage mountains were replenished with disposable masks and gloves. To learn how, with the help of modern technologies, businessmen and startups who are not indifferent to our planet ecology, bring the cleaning of water sources to the next level. See our episode. In 2015, experts conducted a study of more than 40,000 rivers flowing into the Pacific Ocean and got an unexpected result. It turned out that almost all the garbage that goes into the oceans comes from rivers. Just 20 waterways bring most of the plastic waste into the ocean, and almost all of them are located in Southeast Asia. About 80% of garbage falls on a thousand of the dirtiest rivers in the world, less than 1% of the total. This is up to 2.7 million tons of plastic waste that enters the oceans annually. The identified problem immediately birthed the solution. In order to clean the world's oceans, it is necessary to stop the garbage flow from the rivers. It will also help buy time to develop long-term solutions such as improving waste management infrastructure and replacing plastic with environmentally friendly materials. But the problem is that all rivers are different and it is difficult to develop a systemic solution suitable for each of them. The success depends on such factors as the waterway width, depth, flow rate, garbage composition, seasonality, and tides. But the task complexity did not stop the enthusiasts. So, the Dutch ocean cleanup startup led by inventor Boyan Slat has been working on solving the problem since 2013. Boyan went down, obtained the first grant of $100,000 from PayPal founder Peter Thiel, and got to work despite challenges and harsh criticism. In 2019, the project raised additional funds and they developed an autonomous vessel, the Interceptor, which catches garbage from rivers before it enters the seas and oceans. The project mission is to equip 1,000 of the most polluted rivers in the world with such devices. The first such interceptor works and cleans rivers in Jakarta, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Mekong Delta in Vietnam, and in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. But in order to launch the project in Kingston Harbor in Jamaica and send three more vessels there, the engineers had to significantly modify the project. The Kingston drainage system consists of 11 drainage channels, which are designed to carry rainwater to the ocean. Together with water, they release about 947,000 kilograms of plastic per year into the Caribbean Sea. The original interceptor modification turned out to be too long and wide for these waterways, which also dry up from time to time. Therefore, the authors of the project have developed two modifications of their vessel, interceptor barrier and interceptor tender. Interceptor barrier can be used to stop garbage at the mouth of a small river or channel. It consists of a separate floating barrier which, after being fixed on each side, forms a U-shape. Garbage floats down the waterway until it reaches a barrier, which then holds it until operators can remove it. The interceptor tender is paired with the interceptor barrier, which is a small crude vessel designed to take care of the interceptor barrier and unload the garbage they collect using a large conveyor belt. It is more maneuverable than large interceptors and can enter shallow waters that were previously inaccessible. The operation principle for these cleaning vessels is as follows. The interceptor tender pulls the interceptor barrier behind it, which acts as a container for garbage that arrives via the built-in conveyor belt. After filling the container, a sensor is activated that gives a signal to operators. The garbage is taken out and the equipment is started again. The inventors took into account all the details. The artificial barrier does not interfere with ships and does not harm the inhabitants of the rivers. Moreover, the system does not require large energy consumption, it runs on solar energy. According to the developers, the interceptor is capable of collecting up to 50 tons of garbage per day. 
The maximum filling of containers is designed for 100 tons. The device is designed for 20 years of service. Even during a flood or storm, it will not turn over. It is also resistant to large heavy objects. The device has a nose that pushes them out of the way. The cost of one vessel is $780,000, but part of the cost can be covered by selling the collected plastic. One pet ton costs about $800. In developing countries where most of the collection takes place, the cost is about $450. At the same time, the vessels are equipped with solar panels and generate electricity for themselves. In Jamaica, Interceptor Barrier and Interceptor Tender operate on three channels, Kingston Penn, Barnes, and Raytown. If they manage to reduce the level of river and ocean pollution, then by the end of 2022, all 11 channels of Jamaica will be equipped with these vessels. Do you think the Ocean Cleanup Project will be able to achieve its goals and remove 90% of floating plastic from the ocean by 2040?